Hello, and thank you very much for joining me here today. This is Gali Gofarb, and today I'm going to be talking about if veganism is a good weight loss approach. You may be considering adopting a vegan diet for weight loss. So one of the most significant concerns that I hear from people is the fear that cutting out animal products will deplete their muscles and not sufficiently provide uh, their body with the needed nutrients that a traditional diet supposedly provides. So let's look at the research and consider whether going vegan is a good and healthy weight loss approach. Let's first consider whether veganism is healthy or not. Well, a recent London publication stated that vegans must be wary to consume specific uh, vitamins such as vitamin B12 and uh, omega-3 fatty acids. The study concluded that vegan diets are greatly aided by the intake of foods containing omega-3 fatty acids such as chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, perilla and black currant seed oil, and plants from the Chiam genus, as well as by consuming brown algae, also called kelp. The good thing is that there is more than one way to supplement these raw materials needed by your body to prevent any deficiencies when following a purely vegan diet. However, since males tend to convert true essential fatty acid, um, alpha-linoleic acid, ALA, which is the building block for longer chain omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA, which offer heart and brain health support, men will need increased consumption or supplementation on a vegan diet. Now, if a vegan diet is done the right way, this way of life will keep you healthy, energized and muscular well into old age. But the key is really to do it right. Otherwise, your body will crave meat and dairy immensely in a way that you will not be able to conquer. Um, basically, one must learn new skills and new tools, some that are very different from current habits. So now uh, we understand that veganism will need supplementation in order to make sure that you do not have any deficiencies. Let's check if veganism is healthy for everyone. Well, one thought is that, that I hear frequently is that it, vegan diets are good for certain populations, in other words, for young adults who don't suffer from any medical conditions. But now we know that this is not true. The American Dietetic Association shared its findings saying that well-planned vegetarian and vegan diets are suitable for people throughout all life stages, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood and adolescence and also for athletes. This means that any average person can reap the major benefits on a whole food plant-based vegan diet if followed correctly. In fact, studies show that although people experience the benefits when making a move towards a vegan diet, males actually experience even greater health benefits than females do. <laughs> but both genders, of course, will um, reap many benefits from a change to this kind of diet. Now let's see if being vegan can also help prevent disease. Well, again, the, setting, the studies shout out, yes, they can, uh, a vegan diet certainly can. Eating a well-rounded, whole food, plant-based vegan diet will aid in preventing many diseases, including obesity, which is the foundation for many other diseases as well, cardiovascular disease and diabetes, to name just a few. Now, the scientific paper states that studies uh, support that high consumption of dietary fiber is linked uh, to the benefits of this vegan diet and this is what reduces the risk for heart disease and probably also uh, obesity prevention. And because vegans consume large amounts of fruits and vegetables, they end up consuming much more fiber than uh, people on a normal diet do. And this fiber helps keep obesity, diabetes and heart disease off the radar. Now this study also goes on to explain the roles of phytochemicals and antioxidants which are plentiful in vegan diets as well. Uh, so veganism helps prevent major diseases of the day. So certainly it does. But what about being a vegan versus being a vegetarian, which is better? Now let's look. Well, a study had to say this on the, this topic that, and I quote, Compared to lacto-ovo-vegetarian diets who consume dairy products and fish, vegan diets seem to offer additional protection from obese, for obesity, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular mortality. But is being vegan safe for the long term? 
Well, despite its recent resurgence, veganism has been around for a very long time and finally there is a lot of information on long-term effects of maintaining this sort of lifestyle. In a publication, evidence was revealed about long-term benefits of vegans and vegetarians over other kinds of diets and the study showed that people following vegan diets were less prone to developing cataracts and cancer and many other diseases. It went on to say the following, the vegetarians have a lower prevalence of being overweight and obesity and a lower risk for heart disease when compared to non-vegetarians from a similar background. So to conclude, as you can see, there is ample scientific research that supports why following a vegan diet, a vegan plant-based whole food diet, is a healthy choice, not for just for some people. And due to this fact, it is also great for weight loss. When the body receives the nutrients it needs from plant-based sources, there is less chance for inflammation in the body, which is one primary cause for weight gain. It's also a way to repopulate your gut microbiome with healthy, more beneficial bacteria that help you lose weight faster. And you can be confident with the long-term benefits that will help you lose weight quickly, especially if planned correctly and any supplementation is taken promptly. Your body will thank you for nourishing with, with fresh, nutrient-dense, plant-based foods that give you energy and life. And if you find a total removal of animal products totally overwhelming, well, there's no need to go all the way. Just start by reducing the amount of animal products you consume to less days per week. So thank you very much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you wish to do so. And if you want more information on health and nutrition, please uh, visit my website, www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.